Hey guys, it's your favorite Unc here. Go ahead and click that subscribe button below so you don't miss a single episode of Nightcap. That button right here. Come for the sports, stay for the stories. Anthony Davis admits every game is a playoff game for the Lakers. AD said, <laughs> Ron is Ron. Obviously, it's time for it's uh it's that time of the year. Shooting the ball extremely well in attack mode, finding guys. He's been locked in defensively. So it's this time of year, especially for us, where every game is a playoff game. So the time of year, extensively locked in and get the job done. Uh, we see what they're we see them go on the road mm -hmm. and beat Boston without LeBron. Mm -hmm. We see them at home beat Milwaukee without LeBron. Mm -hmm. We see them win some games, but then we see AD gets hurt, and then they blow it. Had a they had a big lead uh, uh, against the uh, against the Warriors and end up losing on Saturday. Do the Lakers have another gear that they can get to, like last year, that could get them to the Western Conference Finals? Uh, yeah. Um, they do. It's all dependent on LeBron. It's LeBron's, it's, it's LeBron's next gear. That that's it. It ain't the Lakers next gear. It's LeBron's next gear. Okay. Um, he's gonna carry the load. You you know he's gonna come out and um try to turn it up a notch. Uh, it just made me laugh that this is playoffs for Anthony Davis, but he went out with an eye injury. Um, man, that I, man elbowed the man. I was right there. He elbowed, he got he got hit hard. His eye swole up. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I know you can't hard, you can't really tell because you know he kind of got like like googly eyes anyway. But he mm -hmm. got he took a good shot. He, he took a, he took he took a good shot to die. Yeah, I mean, he came back with twenty five and you know twenty two and, and fifteen. Um, it's all positioning now. It's all position at this point. Right now, we're we're at what the ten seed. Yeah, so we'll play. Let's say Golden State, and at uh, the end season game, we will beat them. Right, that's going to be. We're just going to hit the glass and AD and LeBron attack the rim because they don't know how to defend the rim at this point. They're not going to shoot any free throws. Then we're going to play what between Dallas and uh, Phoenix. Sun, Phoenix. And then if we get that HC, you got Denver. No. Oh, sorry. you got Shea. Oh, if they get if they get OKC, they'll beat OKC. I know. In the playoffs, yes, sir. Yes, they'll beat OKC. You put you beat you 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 beat OKC, and then you now you have the number one slot, which means you play four or five, which four or five is Pelicans or the Clippers. If you get the Clippers for the Lakers, that that is amazing because one, you don't have to leave. Two. That's a Laker crowd on both mm -hmm. sides. The only time it turns into Clipper crowd is if the Clippers is winning in the last four or five minutes, then their 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 fans is is engaged. Other than that, yeah. it's damn near a Laker game all seven all seven games, and then you get Denver in the um, Western yeah. Conference Finals, and hopefully, you know, they're beat up by then. If not, well, you know, see you next year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because man, the last the last five minutes. Man, that two man game with Yoke and Murray, either dribble handoff, the pick and roll, or Murray breaks you down and then he hits Michael Porter Jr. and he hadn't been missing lately for that three ball. Yoke is gonna be Yoke. You can see, you can see, he's like, well, damn. Because uh who did they play the the Mavericks? Mm -hmm. No, who did they play the other night? They played who did they play last night? Uh they played uh, Timberwolves. Timberwolves. Mm -hmm. Timberwolves say, you know what? We're gonna let you score. We ain't gonna let you. We're not gonna let you get twenty six and fifteen assists. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we're gonna neutralize some of the. He's like, okay, I dropped thirty five and sixteen on your ass with three assists. Yeah, and then you got Michael Porter Jr. He got it going late in, uh, in the fourth, and then he couldn't miss. And then they ended up hold, they hold, they end up holding off uh, Minnesota, even though uh, Ant Man had a great look at a three to send the game into overtime. But that's the thing with the Nuggets. That the last five minutes, they make you execute every possession because they execute every possession. Yes, they, they get do. they get every every shot that they want. They ain't taking no bad shots. Mm -hmm. And even when the clock's running down, and you think it's a bad shot for Yoke when he's stepping back off one foot, throwing it up there, and you can't see the ball. It's a great shot for him. You, you know what? I, I think the last five minutes, uh, Lakers need to switch their offense. Yes, you want the ball in LeBron's hand. But it seems like when we're playing them, that's where we lose the game, right? It's the it's the execution of the last five minutes. 
I I think that we should be playing D'Lo and um, Davis. Three. No, D'Lo oh, and AD and, 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 and the pick and roll. They, they need to play pick and roll in two man game like Murray and Jokic and does, and then have LeBron in that dunker spot, lob spot. So if you're trying to help on AD's role, you have LeBron James on the backside ducking in and coming to the – because for the most part, if he can't get to the lane, he's going to do a, a step back three, which you don't need heat checks at that point. The last five minutes, yeah. right? And then you don't you don't really need no bomb passes where he's trying something, he don't have it, then he'll throw it to Reeves. Reeves just shut that three up. So it seemed like it would be more – a, a better, a better type of offense if you have LeBron playing like Gordon in the last five minutes, where because it's LeBron on the backside, we really actually have to pay attention to him. Um, and that, that that's how we beat that's how we beat the um, Golden State last year mm -hmm. when uh, LeBron was. Pick do he was the picker. He was playing slash and cutting because right. they decided, they, you know, playing for it. Yeah, or put or put put a uh, uh, D Lo and LeBron in the pick and roll. Cause nah. LeBron to go to you don't like LeBron to pick? No, nah. because uh, because I need unless LeBron is unless LeBron is diving, I need the yeah Davis dive and I need Anthony Davis who's gonna put if they switch it, Anthony Davis is posting up against a little guy. Okay, so now he can just shoot over him. Like I I, I like that idea better. Um. You know, him and LeBron, LeBron's going to step step back, and then that's going to end up turning into a jumper. Yeah, I don't. Nah, no thank you. <laughs> yeah. okay. Draymond Green says Kyrie Irving is the most skilled player in NBA history. Dre said there's actually nothing you can do to stop Kyrie from scoring. You just try to do all you can to make it tough, or make a tough shot, and live with the results. Dame literally tweeted Kyrie Irving is the most skilled player in NBA history. And quite frankly, I'm not sure who can argue against that. The things that Kyrie is capable of are unreal. Boogie Cousins says also Kyrie Irving is the most skilled, is more skilled than Kobe. I might put him over Kobe. And I got to I have to got to put him over Kobe. That mofo 5'11 posting them up. I can I can I can I can argue against it. Okay, argue the, against it. The question is what is what, what is what is skill? I guess we talk about ability to handle the ball. Okay. Um, finish. I, I think it's a it's a it's an it's a, a skill to be as small as he is can finish wow. at the rim. You can't use height to 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 determine if you can finish. Either you can finish or you can't. So if he can finish at the rim, he can finish at the rim. You don't he, think there's a, there's a skill to be able to do this and kiss it out the glass up under here or sp or spin it. Yeah, that, that, that's all skill. Yeah. So, so, so um, so th the question is, how many categories are we putting in the skill department? Right. How mm -hmm. many categories? Then from there, you look through history and see who who checks off. Because Larry Bird was skilled. Right. Hope was skilled. Jordan was skilled. Um, Wimby is skilled. Right. So when we're talking, mm -hmm. like, I think everyone just sees the flashiness and that's yes. considered skill. And he's the most skilled player because of how his array of moves, which is only unlocked because of the rule calling now. But when we're talking about skill, offensively skilled, posting up mid range, passing, dribbling, layup package, dunk package, right? There's, there's there's at least five to seven boxes that you have to check these players off. And, you know, there's a lot of very skilled players. Yeah, for the most part, they can't dribble at a level 10, but some of them are at eight, nine. There's things that Kyrie is an eight and nine and that people are a 10 in. For Wimby, Wimby dribbling is a 10 for big man. So what can he do that Wimby can't do? Right. I, 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 I think the thing is, is that when you look jump, at one legged from the three, he, he's throwing it between people legs. He's doing a, like, you know what I mean? So his skill level is very high too. So right now it's just the flashiness of the dribble that they're, I think, 
skill. I, I, Gil, I honestly think people, when they say skill, they think they just look at the offensive side. So I think we're just going to put it in the offensive bucket. I think they look at his handle, his ability to handle, his ability to finish with either hand equally uh, uh, as well. Uh, his ability to shoot the ball from three, to shoot the ball from the mid-range. He's mm-hmm. on pace to do another 50, 40, 90. I think only two guys have ever had uh, two seasons with that, and that's Kevin Durant. Larry Bird has had a 50, 40, 90. I think Dirk Nowitzki has had a 50, 40, 90. Uh, they, uh, Steph Curry's had a 50, 40, 90. Uh, Kyrie Irving is on pace to have another 50, 40, 90. Mm-hmm. Um, and so you look at him, he's a three-level scorer. He got the three. He has the mid-range. Obviously, he has the uh, uh, the layup package um, from either side with either hand. Um, I, I got to update you on five-level scoring. Oh, he five-level. <laughs> so he get free throw. Get no, no, no. Else. So three, so three levels is layup, mid range, and three. Three, you're right. Right. Five levels is the ability to post up and ability of logo ISOs. Right. So yes, okay. he is considered five levels. So like someone like Curry is only a three level because he don't post up and right. he don't ISO. Right. So there is different tiers. Yes. To to basketball, but you know when when you just say offensively, then Larry Bird two right. Mm-hmm. Played a whole game, scored forty something with his left hand. Said, "I'm too bored tonight. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be." Lakers. I gotta say the right for the Lakers, <laughs> right? So you know, it's 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 to really say who is and just stand on it. Let we got to put it in categories. All right, dribbling, give it a rating. Drip shooting, mid range shooting, this this this, and then go from there and see who is actually the best. Kyrie is the best dribbler. Ten, right? Moves creating. Him and Kobe, right? James Harden. The people, I, I think people forgot about James when James was it had that had that like that five six year uh, stretch, Gil. Yeah. But Man, that, people say people say he better score than, than Jordan. Yeah, yeah. I mean, people. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the dude. He had what? He had like thirty some games. Well, thirty some games where he had at least thirty points a game, and he was getting sixty point triple doubles. He get fifty point triple doubles. I mean, and he had developed that step back. It wasn't nothing you can do with it. Been yeah, nothing. It's it's like he's one like Kyrie is one of the most skilled players um that's walked through the league. Uh best dribbler by far. Yeah. So, you know, um, but when we're when we're talking about who's the most skillful, you know, there's there's more attributes to the game right. than the dribbling and the flash part of it, right? Like Steve, what is what can he do better than Steve Nash? Finish a size dribble. I mean, can he? But yeah, I mean, yeah, he can. Be. Yeah, yeah, he can. He has a better finishing package. Well, you know, um, Steve Nash shoots the mid range better, shoots the three better, drip, uh, pass better, right? So you see yeah. how wins here, he wins here. So it depends on what we're using. Okay. 